Virgo, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 21st through the 27th of October. Let's tune in to the overall energies that you guys are going to be dealing with this week ahead. And your individual energies, those yours and that of whomever it is that you are dealing with. Three of coins. Hmm, the lovers. And the knight of swords. Ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. All right, so clearly, ladies and gents, there's some things to relinquish here. There's some sort of weight. Something here that might have you might have felt overwhelmed about at some point. Nevertheless, I see that there's work being done. I see you and your person seeing eye to eye with one another here with the three of coins, the card of cooperation, collaboration with, with others to build something, some sort of mutual desire of a solid foundation is what I'm seeing here, some sort of stability, organizing the relationship, establishing the foundation, if you will, or making the foundation more tenacious. <clears throat> as well as with the lovers here. All right, this is a card of unity, seeing eye to eye. This is being on the same page, ladies and gents. What's going on here with the Three of Coins? The Three of Coins, Queen of Swords, and the Temperance, taking things easy, wanting to be effective with communication, but also the moves that you're making in the relationship so that healing and balance may ensue. Could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with, or a Taurus here, the Hierophant, once again. Hmm. It could be a marriage here that you guys are <clears throat> mending or simply working on. All right, the tower changes, 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 positive changes, changes, that, changes that entail, changes that entail a new beginning or rather a reconstruction is what I am seeing here for Virgo. All right, what's going on here with the lovers? Why is the lovers here? The two of coins. The two of coins, all right. This is uh, an act of simply wanting to skillfully bring balance to a situation that has some heartbreak, some sort of tumultuous feelings, I feel. Tumultuous feelings, I feel and see, all right. Somebody here wants to mend a broken heart. Why? Because there's love. Because there's desire to bring balance, justice. Someone here is moving with an element of integrity, wanting to do the right thing, wanting to be truthful, wanting to be honest, wanting to bring forth justice. And it's coming in hot. Knight of Swords. Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with a fire sign. All right. I did mention Sagittarius earlier. It doesn't have to be. We got Libra here. We got Gemini. And Taurus. And nevertheless, tell me about this. The card of Aquarius, star card. So, this is an energy of simply pursuing one's wishes, hopes, desires. All right, something here deep, 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 deep down within an individual. All right, I feel that this idea, this concept, this energy that dwells deep within this individual is simply one that is aligned with working or rather diligently working on cultivating a situation, a situation that they don't want to be a lost opportunity, all right? Somebody here doesn't want this lost opportunity, wants this to be a lost opportunity, they want unity. This person here, again, has got love. We got the lovers and the two of cups. A lot of times when these cards come out together, this is a very, this is my soulmate combination, all right? So, what, what I have to tell you is that whatever relationship you're dealing with is most certainly significant. All right, not all relationships that come into our life are significant. They are meaningful, could be, but not all are significant. This one in particular is whomever it is that I'm tuning into. Hmm. All right, what's going on with Virgo and what energy are they projecting towards whomever it is that they are dealing with? <clears throat> Talk to me. Talk to me. The, the Emperor. All right, so Virgo, it seems like you're taking initiative, you're taking charge, you are 
you seem to be making the right moves to get to what it is that you want. Okay? We got the nine of coins. You see, you're exuding an element of absolute stability, confidence. Seems as if your life is well organized, typical Virgo. All right, things are flowing good for you. You are exuding an element of independence, okay? I feel that you are focusing on yourself. There's this notable element of self-interest in regards to the energy that I'm picking up from you. All right. Tell me more. Tell me more. So you guys could most certainly have a, a, a huge love interest. Despite that, I feel that you are placing a lot of a lot of your energy, a lot of your attention, awareness onto yourself, onto overcoming personal obstacles. All right. On to moving towards your own independence while keeping things light, keeping things lighthearted with whomever it is that you're connecting with on an emotional level. All right, I feel that you're experiencing time right now as if it's not the right time to move things, all right, to move things drastically or too fast or too great. It's like you're wanting to keep things lightly, even though you have found your partner. Virgo has found somebody that they see as a potential life partner. All right. Someone here that they're definitely wanting to invest in. Someone here that they're definitely wanting to move closer to. But for whatever reason, there is an element of taking things slightly. And this may be due to the fact that there may be other people involved. All right. These other people. Whoa. Wow, look at that. King and Queen of Soul. Queen, King and Queen of Wands. A lot of passion here. But then we have this Queen of Cups. I'm telling you. I feel that there's definitely third party interference. Doesn't have to be a romantic situation, but there's someone here on the outside that is adding some sort of friction to whatever situation you got going on here. Alright, I don't feel as if you're allowing it to consume you or allowing it to really affect much but you can't help it. It is affecting the situation. Despite however much you attempt to veer away from it. All right, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, look, there's a lot of emotional, look, I feel someone here is trying to move, is wanting to make an advancement towards you, Virgo. All right. And I feel that you are seeking to make an advancement. It's like, there's just, Pursuers, pursuers. You're pursuing someone, someone's pursuing you. You know, there's just this movement towards being courted all around. Somebody wants you, but someone someone that you don't want wants you. All right, while you have somebody else that really, really wants you and that you really, really want. Okay, tell me this. No. Yeah. You're done with the old Virgo, all right? If you got some past individual lingering around, you, you want nothing with them, all right? You want, you're done with the, with the past. You want the new, you want the significant, you want that which grasps your soul, your heart. I see you quite invigorated with life when it comes to some connection that you have around you. Now talk to me about this individual, whomever, whatever significant relationship that Virgo's got in their proximity. What energy is this individual projecting towards them? Wow, eight of wands, a fury of energy, a lot of investments, a lot of communication. I feel like you're dealing with someone that is very open, possibly very vocal, could be very passionate towards you. Hmm, seven of swords. What's with seven of swords? Why is the seven of swords here? Hmm. There's an element of this individual refraining from being absolutely transparent with you, Virgo. All right, why is this? The magician. There's a bit of manipulative energy here. All right, I feel like this individual is being strategic in their dealings with you. Okay? They're being strategic here. They want success. And I feel like this individual is acting accordingly to what or how they feel would bring success to the situation. So if they deem it wise not to invest all their eggs in, this, in the basket at this time, that's exactly what they're doing. I feel that they're wanting to prevent any catastrophe or just disaster between you two. They want success. All right. This individual is very, very passionate about you. You guys may be sexually active. All right. 
a lot of fire I'm getting here from this individual. Now, whew, why is the five of coins here? I feel like you've already been through some ups and downs with this individual Virgo. And the wheel has spun. The wheel of fortune has spun towards the favor of this relationship. So you guys are on the higher side of the experience here. Ace of cups, or rather ace of coins. You guys are definitely moving towards a brand new beginning. You guys are moving towards a new beginning that seems to be blessed. All right. And I say blessed because there are, there is this cosmic energy. There is external energy, universal energy, divine energy, whatever you want to call it. That is putting its hands in your relationship. And what I mean by this is this happens when two individuals have the common, a common goal. When two individuals are coming together with the mutual interest, with the mutual desires and headed towards a similar, you know, joining heads and heading towards a similar direction, this situation becomes blessed. All right, becomes facilitated by the universe, essentially. It's true union, true divine union. And that's the sort of relationship that you have on your hands, a divine union, Virgo. Quite beautiful to be frank. Ladies and gentlemen, this week looks great, to be honest. I'm gonna take this to the extended and I'm gonna to continue to dive into whomever it is that I just picked up on. I'm gonna look into this individual's feelings towards you. I'm gonna look into this individual's perception of you. I'm gonna look into this individual's actions towards you this week, as well as the future, the near future of this relationship. If you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. Otherwise, Virgo, it's a pleasure connecting with you and I'll see you guys next time.